My name is Grizz Dryley. I live in Hesperia. I'm the local historian there. And in talking with you here, what we've got is the book, Images from America, Hesperia. We're here with my cousin, uh, Ken, at Barnes & Noble in Victorville, and just doing a book signing, letting everybody know that the books are out there. It's how this all came about. This actually came with my wife in started uh, Shelley's Place in 83. So when I met her in about 2000, she said, do you want to see where my first restaurant was? And I said, sure. And she starts taking me back into Old Town Hesperia. And it's like, no, this can't be. There, there, there's no businesses in here. And then we started talking about it. And then in 2003, Shelley and I reopened Shelley's place there. And I just started talking to people about Old Town history, Hesperia in general, and we started building up what I called the museum, which is a, a third dining room we had. And it started going from there. And in about 2009, Arcadia Publishing came to the chamber and they wanted to look, they were looking for somebody that would write a history book on Hesperia. I met with them, discussed what the situation was, and I said, sure. And so about nine months later, in 2010, Images of America, Hesperia, was published and out. As far as the book, it's written up in chapters. Basically from the 1840s, I do about 40 uh, year increments. And we take it uh, from the time that Kit Carson and General Beale came through here with the Camel Corps, up until the railroad came through with uh, Robert McClay Whitney and when Hesperia was founded in 1885, up through uh, the 20s to when uh, Route 66 came about and traffic changed from going through Hesperia, the old Spanish trail, over to what we know as 15 now, or Route 66. Then uh, we take it up into the 40s when the Tatum started the potato fields out on the Mesa and what a lot of people don't realize is that it wasn't just the potato fields. The Tatums actually leased all of Hesperia and parts into Phelan area, Baldy Mesa, and it was a working ranch. After the early 50s, when the uh, potato fields uh, went out, M. Penn Phillips purchased Hesperia in 1954. It was the second largest land purchase in the Western United States. The first largest is the Wrigley's and Catalina Island. And then we keep going through it uh, with the, uh, the school districts, how it evolved, everything, Parks and Rec in 1957, how it came up. There's also a section at the end, as much as we could, the now and then. What used to be to what is now, because there's so many people that will see something and ask, what the heck is that? We talk about what it was, because we've got a few buildings, like the old schoolhouse at Sea in Maine. And you'll see in the book what it looked like back in 1883 when it was originally built to what it is now, utilized as a church and education. In fact, that building has never drifted from education. Again, it's just a matter of you can come into Barnes & Noble. There's also, if you don't make it over here, you're out of area, there's Amazon. There's several places that the book can be purchased.